and I talk about the port a lot because it's critical. In Northern Virginia, we have tremendous congestion issues. As it relates to transportation issues in Hampton Roads, it's tourism, it's the military, and it's the port. We have the deepest port on the East Coast. In a few years, the gigantic uh, ships are going to come through the Panama Canal, the 9,000 to 11,000 TEUs. They're going to have choices. As you know, dredging is going on now with some of our competing ports. Where do those gigantic ships go? Jacksonville, Savannah, Charleston, Baltimore, New York, New Jersey. We want those ships to come to Virginia. We want them to offload here. It will give us a tremendous ability in order to do advanced manufacturing, distribution centers. But in order to do that, we have to fix transportation. We have to unlock the port. That's why I've called for four-laning 58 the whole way out. It's critical. Today, as you know, when you get past Martinsville, we get the switchbacks, it's very difficult for the trucks to go on. We need to fix that because we need to get the goods from the dock out to the commerce of America. What's also important for the port is our exports. And as governor, I am committed to traveling the globe on trade missions and doing what we need to do to expand our exports so that our exports, we can be all over the globe as it relates to, let's take agriculture. Uh, we shipped to China, I think four years ago, it was about 300 million. Now it's up to 800 million. We can continue to grow that, but what we do in North Africa, all over the globe, let's unlock that port, let's help with exports, but the only way to do that is through transportation.